Let's Google what kills Dang, next. Right yeah, move Tommy. Tommy, no. You're going to get a bleach bath. Because if I put bleach on him. Okay. Bleach definitely don't kill him. If y'all know what. Us. Right. If y'all know what killed Nat. Yeah. Because I was cleaning the, the bathroom with Roach Ray because I seen the Roach. Right. I can't take it. But give me some time. One day I'm going to sit out here and be like, oh, look, a worm. Wow. A ladybug. Ooh, ants. How do we do nature? Like, oh, yeah. yes. He loves nature. He don't want you to kill nothing. He is just one of those people. And I love those type of people who are one with nature. They like let the bugs crawl all over yeah. them. He's going to be like beloved. Okay, oh, look at it. We caught one live. Now tell me, is this a worm? I posted this on my story. They said this was a snake. Is this a worm or a fucking snake? That's a worm. Oh, Tommy, you scared me. Move. No, Tommy, no. bitch. Ah. What? Tommy scared me. Because it's too much going on for him to be jumping on me. Tommy, stop. You crazy? This fucking worm trying to eat me alive. You jumping on me. This is definitely a worm. We can put it in the bottom. Yeah. No, they said that worms on my story. They said worms mean your grass is healthy. Well, this shit is healthy. So they've been lying a lot. going back in the ground. They said that's what that means. Why and they also know? said mushrooms means your grass is healthy as well. And I know you can't listen to everything people say, but the mushrooms, they did say they would go away. That just happens when you freshly cut your grass, and that did happen. One thing I will tell you this grass is dead. <laughs> But a lot of it over there is alive. And maybe it's just dead because it's been dead for so long. It got to come back to life. Yeah. Healthy grass make a lot of insects and shit. Though. Some people like gardening. So they think, you know, healthy grass is amazing. Maybe we should start growing our own food. Make a little cucumbers back here. Some bell peppers. Some tomatoes. Some potatoes. Tommy, what you think? I saw growing you some dog treats back here. You would like that? I don't trust you because you be trying to bite me. Babe, why he be smelling me again like he trying to get to know me again? Because you don't say shit to him. Because he always want to bite. Tommy, let's start over. Hi, my name is Jasmine. Nice to meet you. Tommy, I'm trying to be nice. Hi, my name is Jasmine. Nice to meet you. I'm going to pat you. I'm going to rub your head. You see what I mean? I, you see what I mean? Look, I'm trying to just... Tommy, oh, no. Oh, fuck no. Does he think you're playing? That's no, you no play. I don't, I don't Babe, like playing. You always do this. Babe. Do that to Tommy, so, Tommy. First, don't go to his mouth. Go like this. This is what people get it wrong. Again. Tommy, come here. Well, he not gonna do that to you. No, look, you try to rub the top of his head. Rub the top of his head. Look, you see he playing with butt. Look, y'all go like this. So this is telling him he's playing or reaching for something. Tommy, look, Carter just did it. Look, see? No, but look what look what Carter did. He put it directly in his head. You going like this. So dogs think that means to jump. Okay, let's Tommy, see. Come. How do I rub his head? Like, don't, don't rub his head yet. Go like this. Okay. Look. Like this. Tommy. All right. You said don't put it on top. Babe, Tommy. Babe, like this. Well, Whoa. I'm not doing that. Yeah. Babe, look. Like this from when the you side? It, though, you okay. Know, like this. Let him sniff you. Uh, okay. Come here. Tommy, sniff me. Tommy. Well, now he's excited because Here, sniff me. If you bite me, I'm going to bite you back. Okay. Now rub your head. Oh, hi, Tommy. I'm your friend till the end. Oh. Babe, he got a knot. Like okay, y'all, I'm back here with a bottle of alcohol. And I'm gonna fuck him up with this. So with the alcohol, I'm sp at first I sprayed it all over me. Got the alcohol. Look, it really did work. I got rid of, oh shit, it sprayed all back on me. I got rid of the gnat with the alcohol and I've been spraying this on my body as well. So we doing good thus far. Tommy! Oh my gosh. Tommy, you better stop. You're gonna go in timeout. Tommy, stop Look it. Look at my baby C-section. I can't even show Okay, y'all, that backyard is just gonna take me some getting used to. I'm used to like rats, roaches, mice, anything else. I don't got no experience with. As you can see, it's time for bed and I just got out the shower and I'm gonna randomly are you pissing? I'm gonna randomly call Kaisha over here because I wanna ask her a few questions so I gotta put her on the spot. Okay, oh, that's so crazy. I called you from the other room and you came in. Anywho, okay, what's crazy is if you've been here for a while, what did you, <laughs> she's so awkward. If you've been here for a while, you'll know that I've been with Kaisha for over four years now. Yeah, I've been with titties for a while. Bro. And, 
we are now moving in together. I like to move on lesbian timing because I don't I know heard if she's not about to be funny right now. Because I don't know what you're about to talk about. You just told me you no, were telling I, me. I'm about to ask you some questions. Because I know you're not about that. That Queen Niger thing going viral right now. I know you're not about to ask me nothing about marriage. Wait, what Queen Niger thing? You lost me. You thought I was going to ask you to marry me? No, I think you're about to pop, pop mess because everybody on the internet talking about how her and Queen, him and Queen been together for all these years and he ain't proposed to her yet. Oh, no. That uh, was nowhere in there. Uh, I think you're about to say something <laughs> funny. You know you be being funny. Um, anywho, so yeah, I thought we was going to move on lesbian time and I thought like we were supposed to move in 24 hours after we met because that's what they told me lesbians do. But now that it's over four years later, I'm very grateful that we took the path that we've taken and I still can't believe that we live together. Before I... Wait, give... Sorry, I don't want to cut you off. My mom called me out. I don't know if it's an emergency. Should I answer? Yeah, I think you should. <laughs> it's not late. So now that we finally live together, how does it feel? Oh, I'm sorry. Not, not thumbs up. Before, before, first of all, it hasn't even been two weeks since we've been living together. But in my mind, because I live in lesbian world, that's about a year and a half. And we have been in transition. So it's been like, we trying to get the boys on a bedtime schedule. We trying to regulate our own schedules. We've been trying to get this house together. So it's been rough, but Somehow, so far, I feel like it's, in my opinion, because I asked her the question, but in my opinion, I feel like it's amazing, you know. I've been getting my head knocked into the headboard, so it feels amazing to me. It feels good. Why are you so shocked? I guess I don't even, I don't even, I, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it feels good. I nah, honestly, it's not complaints. I feel like. We getting it together the way that we supposed to be getting it together. For real, one thing about it, I feel like at first I was a little discouraged because Shamir is annoying as f. <laughs> like she wants everything to go her way, I do. and she also lived by herself for so long that I feel like to her it just everything come natural. But she don't know that when I live with my mom for that long. Not only that, like I'm just not used to sharing a space with my significant other. Um, and so, like, I felt like, all right, I'm trying to take in consideration that she lived by herself, but I'm also trying to remember, like, some things that are a part of me being peaceful as well. So, like, how can I compromise but also not lose myself in the process? And I feel like we're, 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 we're getting there, like, with that. So I that, feel like yeah. communication has been amazing. Well, we always had great communication, mm -hmm. but we argued a lot. A whole bunch and I just want to commend you like I see the shift in the way our arguments would start like you've been doing so good at that point like the other day we was really about to argue and you was like this is not an argument I'm just expressing how I feel and this is why I'm saying it like you was very social worky with it <laughs> like I, it was very by the textbook therapist like and I was like wow I can't even argue with that yeah, shut up. Because, you know, I could argue. And I was like, I can't even argue with that. That was great. So I think communication is better. Plus, I'm happy we went this route because the house is really big. So um, if I go upstairs, I probably won't see her for four hours. If she downstairs, I won't see her for four And it's so much space that there's no such thing as being in each other's space. And it's time throughout the day when it's like, damn, I miss you. Where you been? Right. I had the call her today. Like, hello. <laughs> yeah, so. Even last night, remember, I sent you a text. Talk about hello. You talk about hey. I want this back. I want to talk about hey. <laughs> and then it's dumb funny because we have a routine in our head of how we want it to go. But it's not there yet. But I like that we're putting effort towards doing it so like bedtime has been chaotic af with the boys but this transition is new to them too but tonight we actually read a bedtime story she put on some love i was looking at shamia like dang i'm ready to marry her now because certain things is not you like you don't read no bedtime story and stuff so when i look at her and i was like dang yo. i'm i'm really not that like i'm the mom that'll play with you for seven seconds and then let's watch law and order like I'm, <laughs> she's very hands-on and i'm more of the patient one like i'm very patient i could do oh, crying i could you you could yell i'll does. sit there and yeah i'm i'm the patient one so we really balance each, each other out but instead of I'm learning instead of always wanting to do things my way, 
let's try to do it our way mm -hmm. like and i'm not used to compromising and i'm not used to being submissive but one thing that's helping me with that journey is because even in my mind when i feel like she doing that wrong i, I just want to do it my way one thing about her if something fails she fixes it so that's what keeps me like saying to know like if this don't work out i know she's gonna find another way to make it right but that's like somebody who like you know give me your money let me flip it and they flip it you lose it all and they just like yeah we asked out like mm -mm, i'm gonna hustle up get this money back and we gonna do it again so she really gives me that like confidence to know like yeah let me shut my ass up and just do what she said i think gonna happen all the time so i don't get used to that I mean, but. the crazy part is, even tonight, it was nothing that I told you. So that's why I was like, yeah, I was excited because it's like, sometimes I step back because I know what type of person I am and I don't want to force you to be a person that you're not or overwhelm you with what I would prefer to do. So I didn't say nothing. Honestly, I just fed off your energy. You picked up that book and it was stuff that I would do and it was stuff that I would say to do. But guess but what made me nothing. want to do that? Yeah. What made me so happy? Like oh, I can't... clean and stuff you can do. Yes. Because Kaisha, she'll, she will clean when she wake up. So if it's like a mess, I can't even sleep. Versus her, she'll sleep, but she'll clean it when she wake up. I was so happy when I came down. Everything was like spotless clean. I had just finished cleaning but upstairs. But guess what you did? What? Like, sometimes I know you be wanting your space, so you'll have your thing of, like, going upstairs. But, like, after a while, I sent Kyra and Carter upstairs, and I took, like, after they played, mm -hmm. I sent them upstairs, and they couldn't touch the toys downstairs no more because it had to be, like, a cut-up time. Sometimes they play into nighttime. Like, they'll play from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., and then at 9 p.m., now I have to straighten all of that stuff up, and I don't have no energy. Cause, so it's like, I'm not doing that. Like, I either got to clean up early in the morning when I got the energy or clean up in the middle of the day before I lose my energy. So what I did today was I let them play all morning. In the middle of the day, I stopped them from playing. We cleaned up the room and then they've been upstairs. After they started becoming overwhelming, I wanted her to get more time to herself because I realized we invaded her piece and I took them to the park. But I didn't let them mess downstairs up again. When they came back, it was already late. They got in the tub and it was time to go. Like they ate, got in the tub and it was time to lay down. And that worked for me because it didn't burn my energy. So then I used my energy to clean like again before it was time to go to bed and it wasn't that much to clean so it was easier for me and she loves outside and i hate outside and also the miscommunication sometimes come in when we think like you have more time to yourself than i did or you're not doing nothing today we was we was really communicating even with sending each other pictures like i don't know if you think i'm up here doing nothing but i'm doing the dishes i'm cleaning the floor i'm all gonna and you're like look i just swept i just swept i cleaned the toys i'm taking what like we was showing each other like we both equally play a part around here so before we argue about like oh you do more than i'm doing or you not doing more than me we openly talk about things even financially we've never had a problem financially like even before living with each other it's literally never an issue and that has everything to do with who we are as individuals this has been something that i loved about her since i met her never have we ever had an argument about finances because it's always like we're considerate people in life so if she just seen me pay for the mcdonald's when we go out again she'll naturally say you just pay for the mcdonald's it's my turn or if we see the bill it'll be like i'll foot this one or you foot this or we'll split it half like it's never an argument about that and that's because as individuals we're very considerate so that works properly um if there's anything else I don't think so, because we ain't even two weeks in. She ain't been leaving, like, her boxes in the bathroom and shit. We ain't get to that. But I, oh, I have been, been leaving my clothes. Yeah. I have you been leaving my but clothes. That's a, look, you know what? That's a good point, right? I am not a person that nitpick about everything. And sometimes I be trying to teach Shamir that, like, I'm well, ready. today the only reason why I didn't put her underwear and stuff up is because genuinely I don't know what her laundry bag is at. Like, we have been moving around so much that I don't know where she keep her stuff at. The house is so big. I'm still learning. With she don't even know where that at. Today, right, she ain't even right. know where the so, closet like, was at. I straightened the bed up and I made the bed. I put her underwears and stuff in the bathroom because I didn't know where else to put it because I don't know where her laundry bag is at. But Shamir would have been like, who left the underwear right here? So I'm trying to show and I'm you, learning. Like, sometimes you don't even have to just pick it up. Like, I'm learning. It's not it was, like I was, it was dirty. Two, it was toothpaste on the, on the sink today, twice. And you know what? Instead of me taking a picture like I do and sitting to the group chat, da, 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 I said, you know what? My baby probably was in a rush. She did a lot today. Let me get the toothpaste up. And See, that's regular shit. That. That, but that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, we sometimes you don't have to complain. You just do it. Because obviously, if you know me, 
And if I know her, I know that we will both not purposely do something. I, like, I'm not going to purposely just leave you to clean my mess. Something had to happen for it to get to you. For and you, you to definitely to left my underwear in the bag. Well, I didn't even see your underwear. I just saw the clothes on the floor and I had grabbed it. No, but the underwear in the bag or on the floor, that was you because, yep, yep, yep. You had that off before I even came into the bed. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah, little yeah, season's hot and ready. Um, <laughs> I think I think we're gonna do great. And you know how in life sometimes people be like, "Oh yeah, there'll be bumps in the road." I I we don't see the bumps. bumps in the road. Like we already did that. Yeah. And even that's the great. We had so many bumps that we know how to handle our bumps. Like we had know, bumps, bumps, trips, and falls. They get a little so, season because we live together. But other than that, it's. So I'm very, very, if I could look back, I've complained a lot about like consistency and I'm not getting it, I'm not getting it. And now that I have it, it's like, oh, I had a plan, but this had to go according to purpose. So it was definitely designed this way and I'm so happy for it. And I can't wait to like get pregnant. Yo, you lying. I feel, but I, I, I learned, let me finish because I was going to say the abortion part. No. Okay, no. <laughs> No, um, I'm just looking forward to like, I'm definitely looking forward to marriage though. Here she go. Queen no, 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 for real. What, 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 Wait, what, what is going on with Queen Night? I gotta go look at this because I've been saying Somebody dug up someone. Let's not even get off track. I one, just want to get too. married. Get off track. But hey, you know what's funny? Wait, wait, let me tell you. See if you under, see if you remember what happened earlier. So I think we both low-key got ADHD. There was one point earlier where we both, was it yesterday or today? When we both did something, we were doing things that were not in order. Like, the door was left open. The cars was Oh, open. yesterday we was bugging no, out. No, we Because it was so much to get done like, that we kept we were hopping, out. skipping, hopping. Yeah. We left the door open. Then it was like, yeah, we got to close the garage door. But then we left the car doors open. Yeah. Then we ended up building the doghouse. <laughs> we was like. And then no, at we one point, bugging. we stopped and said, we're bugging out, right? Yeah. <laughs> because we're all. And then we started playing bleach, then getting up the lawn and playing, took my snakes, recording. Yeah. It was just like. Yeah, we was bouncing all over the place, but that's because it's so much to do and we're not settled. And when you have such a big space, you always find something to do. But she um, ran me off the topic of marriage purposely. Uh, <laughs> that was cute. That was a good one. But yeah, yeah, go, I do want to get go. married one day. I'm not rushing her. And one thing I, I love that she said to me was... When I get engaged, I'm not staying engaged for years. Right, My point of getting engaged is to, to get cute, married. To right. So I love the fact that I know once we get engaged. And I feel like it's going to be very hard to... No, it's not because she's done it. One time she's did it and I can't believe she ever did it. You know how when some people cry, I be feeling like it's so fake. Like, hmm... Like, you just walked in here, you see your cousin, your mother, you ain't see they car parked outside. <laughs> you ain't think well, like, you hmm. for your birthday. That's what I was saying. The first, that was one time that, now that, that was crazy. Look, look at me, Tara. <laughs> yeah. I, um, it caught me, that was insane. That was the crazy, I could not stop crying. Literally cried for eight hours straight. Now, if engagement looks anything like that, that is insane. I don't even think you could get me like that again. I already yeah. am, look at you. <laughs> No, babe, for real. I don't think you could get me I like can, that. I can, honestly. I, that I think, was the, just The thing crazy. about marriage is that you already know when you want to marry a person before you even get to that point. I think everybody knows when they want to marry a person. But I think to physically do it takes a lot. And I think that marriage is a business. And so when I think about it on a business aspect, we're not there yet. And so, like, when you marry somebody, your income combined. When you marry somebody, your debt is their debt. When you marry yeah, somebody, you got to pay to break up. Like, and I'm not talking about, like, I'm talking about us in general. Like, even when you marry somebody, like, we just now get into the step of moving together. All of this was meant to happen first because how would I marry somebody? I don't even know if I could live with, if I could live with them. Like, so I think that all of the necessary steps are being taken so that... that yeah, but when you get married, your debt become one? Everything, like, you know, everything becomes one. Yeah, you definitely don't want to marry me yet. No, but we're not in debt. We're taking a, no, nah, but we're taking the proper steps to be what we need to be. And I think all of that is cute, but we know where we stand at. And one thing about it is that it's expensive. It's cheaper to keep it when you marry. That's all I'm going to say because you got to pay to break up. So I think we take the right steps and that we're moving in the right direction. And I like doing things. One thing about it, if your birthday coming up and you tell me, like, oh, get me a gift, I'm not going to do it. So I don't want nobody telling me when to get married. The same way I didn't want nobody telling me when to move in with Shamir or what to do. I did things because it was on my heart. And I feel like that's why we're having a great experience. I can't marry somebody 
it's on my heart, but I can't marry them for the show or for the fun of it. Like, oh, let me show this off. Like, oh, we engaged. Nah. Yeah. I want a big wedding. I want to I be overseas. Like, I want I a big... I can't do that. I want to go to City Hall. So I'm not trying... Nah, she don't care about that. I care about that. Like, I'm going to show her off and I'm going to show our experience off because there's a lot of people that didn't even want this to happen. So it's like, nah, Give I want to Give me some time to lose bag. some weight. Huh? Give me some time to lose some weight. So give me like an estimate. I want to drop a bag. You know what I'm saying? So we going to get there. It's going to be your time. Nah, but she already my wife, so it's no like you know, right because like, I don't like saying girlfriend or fiance. So when anybody asks, I'll be like, Oh, my wife, because I'm like 78 years old, I'm not about to be she is my so material, not materialistic, but those people who think so hard about everything, right? My girlfriend, I'm not 18, yeah, shut up, I'll be bro. like, This is my bitch. Yeah. Um, anywho, so that is this vlog. I had something else to say, but I lost it when I looked down at my big toe. I said, "Damn, this bro, toe long. you be yeah, well. It made me lose Stop it quick. Get <laughs> no, you won't get nauseous. I don't get nauseous quick because I don't think so, about stuff. So I'm about to sit there and go to bed and poke my butt out, act like I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm yeah. Oh, good night. Yeah, Let me end it like I am already. Like always, give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, tell it for the tell it for that your girl is on a journey in 200k. I am. I yes, that. Oh, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> not, not yet. That's what I was about to say. Um, I know y'all gonna ask me this in the comment section, so let me just answer it now because I cannot. Every time I'm in a video with this girl, y'all ask me the same thing. The reason she calls me Shamir, oh my god, is because my name is Jasmine Shante Shamir. That's my name. So even when y'all see family members, because my family's supposed to be coming over tomorrow, so y'all see them. Some of my family members will say Shante. Some of my family members, well, nobody says Shamir. Only Kaisha says Shamir. That's why. That's and the reason why I say Shamir is because nobody says Shamir. So I think yeah, she's the only one that says Shamir. Everybody else to say Jasmine or oh, Shantae. I don't like that. So. <laughs> I don't like that. I want to say something. I was calling her Honey Boo, but she don't want that. <laughs> why would you be calling me Honey Boo? It sound like Honey Bun. <laughs> you, love, you love sweets. I do. <laughs> Why are you thinking about honey bun at this time? I'm <laughs> not. You ever ate a Twinkie? For real? Uh, uh, I bet you hungry. I'm lo I love food. You know, no, I, I bet you hungry right now. What kind of hungry? Not that hungry. No, but I'm saying, have you ever ate a Twinkie though? I feel like anybody that eats Twinkie, that'd be some fatty fish. I got pork rind. I don't like that. I, I know. We don't like the again. same snacks. You just want me to go get no. it? No. I'm not going to get it. I'm going to say, we could over eat something crazy. Yeah, we good. You hungry? Yeah, a little bit. No, I'm not. What you want ice cream? I got Nutri Green Bar. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want that? Nah. Oh, okay, y'all. Hey, is that play? Because you really, you don't really eat like that, honestly. Because you be trying to make yourself feel like you're so fat, fat, though. And the crazy part you don't is, eat like that, you really don't. Because you can only eat about six ounces. Anyway. You know what? I don't eat craziness. Like I don't eat a lot of carbs, but I'm so morbidly obese. Is I you're not what you think obese, it is? But the thing is, the weight gain is because you literally don't move. Only like you do housework, but you don't want to go outside. You don't want to walk around. You don't want to. So like, even Babe, you eat a I know fat bit, bitches that be outside all day. Well, that's because they eat a lot. But when you talking about you don't eat a lot, why does it happen? If you eat anything and it's not the healthy stuff, you just sitting around, not going to go nowhere. Oh, so you tell me I'm fat because I don't do shit? No, like you do you do a lot of like housework, but you don't do like a lot of, even me, like I don't eat a lot, but if I ate a lot, I would be fat. So you telling me I need to go to the gym? No, just do more like you, I think you're just in a transition. Like you went through so much that you don't want to leave the house, you don't want to go out. You don't want to do nothing, so you just I be home been all like the time. This. <laughs> really? What, fat or always been like in a house? It's time to go. No, I'm, I'm fat. Jazzy and family. 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 I want to welcome you in my life. Come over to my channel and subscribe. All we do is have a good time. All we do is spread those good vibes, yeah. Jazzy and family. Jazzy and family Jazzy and family